all about a Bunsen burner. This is a Bunsen burner, uh, many years old, developed by a guy called Bunsen, surprisingly, and simply a gas supply going into a tube with a collar. Now, at the bottom, we can see there is a very small hole, and the gas goes through this small hole. Now, as it goes through this small hole, it's being compressed, and then as it comes out, it is spreading out, and as it does so, it's sucking the air in. And as it does so, the gas then burns with a hotter flame. Let's light the Bunsen, and we're told to light the Bunsen with the air hole closed, so let's have a look do this, so we'll light the Bunsen, we'll turn the gas supply on, and there is our Bunsen burner going. This is our so-called yellow safety flame. And what I've done is I'm recording the air quality here. So I've got the amount of carbon dioxide being recorded and the amount of particulate matter. When the air hole is closed, the Bunsen burner is just burning gas and this gas is not burning efficiently and there is a fair amount of other substances being produced. So there is some particulate matter which I am seeing is starting to rise here and I've got my carbon monoxide alarm here because if I've got a lot of carbon monoxide being produced then uh, I don't really want to be here and we should be able to see if the amount of carbon dioxide is also changing. When we want to do some heating we then need to rotate the collar and this opens up the air hole and we make a more roaring Bunsen flame. Now this is quite quiet compared with some and that's because I've got the gas supply down quite low. So what I can do is I can turn the gas supply up. This is making a much bigger flame. And now I get a roaring Bunsen flame, which you can hear. If we look at the flame, then there are basically two flames. There's an outside flame and there is an inside flame. And the top of that inside flame is the very hottest part of the flame. And that's the bit you really want to use when you're heating with this Bunsen burner. We can see still the particulate matter is reasonably high and we're getting more carbon dioxide being produced as this flame is burning this car oxygen. But the good news, my carbon monoxide levels are still basically zero. When you're not using the Bunsen then, you just turn it to a yellow safety flame. The flame's much more all over the place and it produces more particulate matter, but you can see it and it's safer. Of course, the best way to keep this is to actually turn it off. So there we are, a Bunsen burner. We light with the air hole closed. We burn with the air hole open, it roaring. And when we're not using it, we turn it to a safety flame. And better still, we turn it off when we're not using it. There we are, a Bunsen burner. Can you hear that roar? Do you want to get the
microphone really close. I might get the microphone really close. 